got to start the week off with Dylan doing some pre-production, okay. no, getting stuff so sorted for a shoot later that week. <laughs> okay. And uh, then I had a couple boat gigs come in. Now, cleaning boats over in Port Orchard, usually the water's not very clear, but this week it was surprisingly nice. And speaking of nice, the weather is changing. We're headed towards winter, but the mushrooms are still out. You know, the leaves are starting to fall. I try to make sure I get out in the woods at least once, if not twice, in a day. Sometimes when you're editing in a house all day, it can be very draining. Getting out in the woods is kind of how I, I recuperate. <laughs> Headed over to Ellensburg for that shoot I was talking about. We did a little bit at a gas station, and then um, we needed to do a later scene <laughs> actually at a different gas station. It wasn't supposed to rain in either of these scenes in the script, but um, we leaned into it, we embraced it, and luckily it was the first coverage of those scenes that we had shot. So you know, down the road, you'll see in a later vlog, we had to create this rain machine, and we knew we could make it work for later shoot dates, even if it wasn't raining. Hey Andy, bring your side in as close to that door as you can. Yeah, just plug it back in. <laughs> Dylan was working on a photography project after that shoot, so I tagged along and had a great time. Once we wrapped that up, I had a car rig that I needed to test out for the next day's shoot. Now, this was a $30 car rig I, I found on Amazon. Now, the thing I needed to test most was getting my lights in the right position and then how well this car rig stuck on the windows when it was below freezing. It was 28 degrees Fahrenheit when we did that test, and we had it out there for 45 minutes, I think it was, and it worked fantastic. Now, several times since then, we've used it in sub-freezing conditions, and it's done very well. That's not going to convince me to run it without safety cables or extra attachment points, but it does give me a little bit of peace of mind about this super cheap $30 tool doing some more testing with Dylan, um, really dialing in lighting scenarios in, in, in one of our upcoming shooting locations, which coincidentally, uh, not by coincidence at all, is Dylan's apartment. Being able to actually be in the space and pre-light before a shoot saves so much time. I wish we could do that with every location, but obviously that's just not practical. I didn't get much footage from that next day's shoots. The next shoot after that was very run and gun. It was all shoulder mounted, no tripods, like an MTV fashion commercial. The camera's moving all the time. Characters are larger than life and there was no dialogue recorded. So we moved incredibly quickly and the shot list was more like a mood board than a shot list. Once we finished offloading media and cleaning gear after the shoot, Dylan and I headed back into town to check out a couple of locations for an upcoming shoot. Sometimes when we go out, we are just taking photos of locations, but other times we need to actually test shots. Um, so Sorry. here's just some test footage from that location scouting session. And then walk into that door. You lead, I follow. Early tomorrow. You think to the left around here? Yeah, I just want to see. Why? What are your thoughts? I follow. Try to find you. It's for tomorrow. I, isn't it so wonderful in this world? Do you watch uh, iCarly? Oh yeah, I love that show. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Is that 
does feel like that totally. It sounds exactly like the theme song, like the melody. I haven't heard it in a long time. It's like na 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 It's kinda what it sounds like. I think I might be wrong. I've done that's why I trigger. I really like this new shoulder pad. It feels comfier. I've only had your rig like on my shoulder a couple of times. Yeah. Well, I could just tell the difference. Yeah, the other one, uh, for the longest time, I didn't even use that. I just did their camera on my shoulder. Was it just the rods? Just the rods. And I was like... Especially digging. Do you have like a popped out, not clavicle, I forgot what this bone is. Yeah, humerus. Yeah. <laughs> that, I have that too. I'm like, that would hurt after a while. And my Ever heard of the Pusher trilogy? The Nicholas Winding Refn? No. I saw some clips from it. I want to watch it all. I'm like, this looks awesome. 